Welcome back my gardening friends. This is one of the sunflowers from uh, the bird uh, food seed uh, number two and they've uh, given a good display. It's just a pity they weren't uh, a different colour. But I'll be uh, doing some seed saving uh, from these later on. These are Uh, I'm going to label Bill and Val's um, peas, as you can see now, uh, they're uh, coming to an end and I've saved absolutely loads, so I'm going to be picking all those off today before we get the uh, next store. A little bit more seed saving at this time of the year, the broad beans, left a few on the plant and uh, we'll be uh, harvesting some of those uh, and letting them dry this lettuce has gone mad and these are what's left of the broad beans that we let grow on they've been absolutely scorched but this uh, this lettuce has been uh, quite productive uh, disappointed because I ordered some seed online it took three weeks to get here then I realised why it come from Singapore. So, I'm going to shop at Wilco's. During my onion harvest, some of the electric uh, onions, uh, these here, didn't grow very well. Can I save these? If they will save. And plant them uh, in the autumn? Let me know guys, will onions get bigger from that or are we too late this is one of the white onions not sure of the variety um, but that's going to seed how do I save the seeds on these are the seeds in the little flowers at the end do I have to put a brown paper bag over them and are the seed pods in there just need some help with that uh, the radish I'm going to cut that off now and uh, pop those into uh, a paper bag. Still waiting on the giant beetroot. I don't even know what the seed looks like on this. But I presume it's got a flower or do something. I've been collecting the uh, poppy heads and uh, we're just drying those out. As you can see, we've already got quite a bit of seed in there, which is getting wet slowly. Now, one of the leek seed heads, like the one we've just seen, ended up um, growing these out of them. And there's the actual seed head, and there's a few more there now growing. They've come on leaps and bounds. Broad beans. Mr. Pigeon. These have uh, got going too quickly, but these are my broad beans. And the garlic is actually all split into cloves since it's been drying. So that's quite pleasing. I've taken all the uh, broad beans. I've taken the dry um, peas that we got from Bill and Val. Uh, two plots of heaven so pay them a visit um, I've took all the dry radish pods off and uh, those are the peas that are slowly starting to dry we'll dry those further but we must keep them all these away from the mice and we've got five pods out of that one I only need 12 but to get 24 just in case we have uh, poor germination and just a reminder, uh, the video on how I planted the uh, ball blitz pips uh, is in a previous video and uh, they're doing well. But you've probably already seen uh, the devastation uh, on my leaks before, but these haven't cost me anything. All the beans, French beans, uh, will all be uh, saved, but we must make sure we don't leave any big ones on or the plant will stop producing. So we won't be seed saving. Uh, what I normally do, if I find a really big one, I'll pull it off and just drop it on the floor. 
there's still lots and lots uh, on there in my view probably not quite ready but uh, by the time you see this video they're all uh, all are dried out depending on whether we get some settled weather high heat massive thunderstorms the plots looking a mess it's always good to save your own seed don't be frightened to having a go like I do happy gardening to you all Till next time my friends, to ra for now, and please don't forget to let me know what I need to do to these, appreciate your help.